are you doing here? My zeal has guided me in because some people have been found who were lost and abandoned. They've been given no honor to build covenants with. They've never experienced what a promise is. The whole of their reality is brokenness. I see their hands open and empty, their wrists fragile and bound, their feet like tombstones, soundless, sinking and immovable, engraved on the path of death they've been aimed down. So what are you doing here? Holding my breath to displays of their imploding hearts, caved in souls, casketed in chains, breath on brief holds. I can hear it in the sound of their shorts, pauses where the chill of tears and the shrill of cries sing to their fighting gasps to survive. I've been holding my breath, hoping they could find theirs. So what are you doing here? My passion is trapped in breathlessness, stuck in my dreams. I remember vividly the scene, the shaking of trees, the crackling of fruit beneath the floors of forestry. There was a great and mighty wind tearing at mountains of my sin. I felt free, but Lord, you weren't there. After, there was an earthquake swallowing injustice and I had hope I could see, but Lord, you weren't there. And after, there was a fire consuming violent, violently, and I saw peace unraveling, but you weren't there. And even without the sin, without the injustice, without the violence, I still tighten myself with fear because I can still hear the chains clinking between pauses beating to the applause of the illusion of freedom. Then there is a voice, a soft whisper like wind. I set my hair loose to the wave of breath, hands open to let voice in the tenderly split wounds the chains left. And there you are, infinitely shaped in keys. And I no longer sing to D, depression major, or play strings to relationships of brokenness, or beat to the percussion of stress, anxiety, and hopelessness. Because there you are, grand composer, tuning broken instruments, restored and finished in the shape that best carries and pours out your breath. A love note that was once too high to reach, so you split the curtain of uncertainty and you commence the show. You can sense it from the depth of each note's greatest potential. So what are you doing here? You are set free and you are zealous and there is purpose to your presence and there is more to being set free. There is being set forth. So I invite you to encounter the enslaved at the corner of brave and willing, at the stone of strength and constancy, in the center where peace and freedom sing and you will finally just breathe symphonies of freedom unleashed and I can hear it now the chains falling clashing like symbols it's loud in my ear music to my fear it started with one beat and there is always more because he sets us free to set us forth
Let's stand up on this evening, amen. Say there's power. Our sister that God has blessed greatly and has given her the opportunity um, to record her music to worship God. Amen. And she has been willing to join us on uh, this evening in worship and pure worship and exaltation to God. What we're doing right now is what we're going to do in heaven for eternity. And we will never get tired because we won't operate in a physical body. You will not grow weary of worship. Amen. And we give thanks to our sister and we invite her, our sister Samantha, to take over on this evening. God bless the people of God. Amen. Que Dios les bendiga a todos. Amen. Amen. I'm happy to be here tonight. 
estoy bien contenta de estar aquí en esta noche. Yo le decía, anoche eh, entré después de, de estar en clase, amén. ¿Se pueden sentar? Um, 